Hey Gemini, this is Kelly from Goddess Power Tarot. So um, this is going to be your February love reading. I have already placed the cards and already did your reading, but unfortunately it would not process or save. So um, the trade-off is either good audio quality or an app that actually works. So with this video, you'll get better audio quality, but I don't know if it's going to upload. And if it doesn't, Gemini doesn't get a reading. No, I'm just kidding. I'll do it over. Okay. So there's no need to shuffle. The reading will be short and quick because the messages were already given to me. But if anything else comes up, then I will certainly say it. All right. Let me just get my squeaky chair settled here and turn my microphone down a little bit so I don't have any of this reverb feedback because I feel like I'm getting squeakiness. I hope that you can't hear it. One sec. Um, so yeah, this reading will be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Sorry, male or female. Really just depends on who you are listening. Um, I'm not going to be specific with, with gender, as we usually aren't because the reading is general. Um, all right, so... Oh, real quick, we're doing, uh, I'm using the Rider Weight deck, clarifying with the mini Rider Weight. Also, um, I have cards pulled from my Untamed Truth Oracle deck that I've recently purchased on Etsy. This is the deck, it's awesome. The um, artwork is beautiful. And it's by Rachel Karangella, Caring, Caring Ella. I don't know how to say that name. And um, I'm also going to use the Romance Angels Oracle cards to give extra messages. Okay, I know you guys have seen this. All right, we're going to start here. It's not your typical Celtic Cross spread. Not doing that this month. All right, the first two cards that were pulled were the King of Wands and the Hangman. So... I will start off the reading first. I want to tell you that the energies that are pulling through the reading, okay, and if this doesn't apply, if this doesn't, you know, if you hear me call out these signs and you're like, well, that's not my person or, you know, if there is someone, it doesn't mean it's not. They, If you don't have access to their birth chart or their natal chart, it could be anywhere in their chart, which could be most predominant for them. So I'm calling them out for the benefit of those who are like, yeah, okay, it's a bit clearer, but don't focus on the signs as I won't any further into the reading. But I will tell you, we definitely have a fire element here. And uh, so Leo, Aries, picking up double Sagittarius, okay, um, Aquarius, Scorpio, double, Taurus, that's it. So if um, that doesn't fix for you, don't worry about it. You know, you'll know if this reading's for you by listening. All right, King of Wands energy. There's someone who's significant in your life that represents, of course, it could be Sagittarius, as I was saying, but. Uh, has that fiery energy now this person is not male or female not necessarily in this go-getter type of energy which would be more of the knight of wands <clears throat> this person has more of a i'm kind of sitting back but my hand is on the trigger and i'm ready to go at any time okay this person is full of passion very creative can be very artistic, a bit popular, um, has a noble sense about them, and is action oriented. But with the king or queen, um, more of um, a, a tad bit more passive. But when it's time for them to go, they go. Okay. So I feel like. This person right now, perhaps the reason for their passivity is they're, they're in contemplation mode right now. They're thinking about something. 
trying to figure something out in regard to, since this is a love reading, could be romantic, could be friend, family, whichever, they are contemplating whether or not to invest more in a situation, one more try, or if that, that's the best that they, all they've done is the best they can do. Okay, now this could be your energy as well, Gemini, uh, where you're taking a bit of um, a passive approach, but also contemplating. There's a lack of movement here because there's evaluation happening, in the, at least in the beginning of February, trying to figure something out. I feel like the goal here is to remain, uh, well, to let go and kind of let things work themselves out, let the universe balance things out, let the universe bring, bring peace and harmony. It's almost a feeling like someone feels like if, uh, you know, if, 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 if this gets done, then how will it, what will happen then? Or if this doesn't get done, then what will happen? It's like, not sure whether to, you know, that song is coming to my head from the 80s. Should I stay or should I go? If I go, there will be trouble. But if I, then there will be double, something like that. So there's like somebody feeling, you know, not sure what to do here. But knowing that there needs to be peace and balance and emotional balance to the situation. Equilibrium needs to happen in this situation. This is, again, as I was saying, my Sagittarius card. So if you have some type of a connection to the Sagittarius, this is what's going on with them. Even if not, you could have someone who you're connected to who is, you know, just really just like, what? I feel like there's somebody is thinking right now, nothing's going to be done because it needs to balance itself out first. Okay. So the next set of messages that were coming to me is I have the star and the page of cups. Okay, so this can be in relation, and I said I wasn't going to do this again, but I'm going to do it again. This can be in relation to Aquarius. There's an energy of renewal and hope happening here. Okay. Now, also, page of cups, you know, it's it's fitting for Valentine's Day. Um, this page is... Uh, is brings messages of um, hope and love and innocent sweet messages also could be Pisces energy I know I said I wasn't gonna say it but I'm saying it um, <laughs> I feel like there's an Aquarian if not an Aquarian there's somebody who is how can I say this there's somebody who is dumping all of this excess emotion um, in order to have peace, in order to bring this lighthearted energy back into play. Sometimes this page of cups is an apology. Okay, so there can be um, somebody making an apology, renewing their faith. And I feel that here that's there's a there's an element of wanting to communicate and overcome obstacles and I um, to have a new type of communication in order to bring forth this union with you okay um, friendship finding a um, union, common bond between you and, and they. Okay. So if, again, if it's not an Aquarius for you, then it's just the energy of, um, you know, having faith that things could work out as well. Perhaps, you know, maybe Gemini, maybe it's you 
who wants to reach out and um, maybe apologize for something or another person okay if it's you there's some something about a connection it could be a connection with the Leo there's a healing connection between a man and a woman um, where there's a sense of renewed faith or hope and it may come from an apology or it may come from some type of sweet offer that comes forward now the next set of messages that we had here are the world card and the four of cups so there is an energy here playing out of someone who's contemplating again just like in the um, seven of Pentacles uh, there's been a lot of um, perhaps apologies made or there's been a lot of love offers and there's indifference here to them at this time because I feel like there's an energy of someone here who has you know just closed the book on 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 something I pulled judgment judgment was clarifying the world card um, and I feel what's happening here is somebody wants truth judgment there's judgment is being passed and somebody needs to stand up and account for their bullshit in order to move on from this situation it could be um, some type of internet connection happening here too it's also blocking someone on the internet as well whomever it could be and so only um, until the truth comes out until something getting revealed something needs to be re revealed and quite honestly this situation cannot be fully resolved and this cup fully accepted until the truth comes out because there was some type of um, an argument perhaps between three three people or some type of um you know heartbreaking situation not necessarily a breakup uh, not necessarily a permanent breakup but something happened and there's also like this energy of having a lack of trust you know all these uh, you know somebody's just kind of like you know apology after apology after apology it was the same old thing again it's like I just don't know if um, it's it, except that apology again except that cup again and then it's like oh we're back to this again you know that it's almost like these are two major cards here major arcana so this energy here is trying to come forward to say you know and the world can be about communication and so you know there's not going to be any communication until something gets resolved here now this could have to do with a man and a woman and a child and family members as well family members that are at a distance right? I'm trying to see all those people in the distance it would be music to your ears um, and it's healing that cross need that healing truth to come forward it's interesting too I was just noticing how much the both of these angels look very similar right? I'm trying to dealing with someone with blonde hair okay so yeah it could be that Sagittarius there needs to be uh, or well at least for Sagittarius energy Sagittarius needs to be the one to bring about the truth here as well or to face some kind of truth or to or will be the one to bring the healing okay if it's not Sagittarius it's just that energy needs to come out where the healing needs to happen so the next set of messages here are the death card six of swords so something's coming to like a final end it's not a slow end this is something that's been 
this is something that's been wanting to happen. It's been needing to happen. In order to get out of this emotional or mental chaos, you see, again, similarities here with um, two people and a child, right? So this water here, this is emotional turbulence that's happening here. Um, the waters have been stirred up. Somebody, somebody may have also, and it, there may have been a male involved in this situation that kind of stirred things up more than needed to be, and now is trying to recover as well. There may be a Scorpio involved in this situation who um, is influencing this change. But I feel like um, you may be defending a fire sign as well, okay? And it, but it irks me that this fire sign isn't even paying attention. I feel like you know you are going to battle for uh, fire sign or not. You're going to battle for someone. You're doing all this hard work. You're communicating, you're defending, you're being aggressive in your defense. But this person's not even paying attention to this. They're, they're looking the other way. And I think it's because they're, they have their own stuff going on. I feel like this person, and there is an energy here too, with this Knight of Swords being definitely in the position of air. You may be fighting change as well. You're fighting some kind of change, fighting back this death card. Something is, something, uh, you're being propelled in a particular direction um, and dealing with someone who is not, they have their own agenda. And that agenda is to um, remove themselves and whomever else from the situation more so. So I feel like you're, you're kind of caught in a conundrum here. And um, and I know these are several different messages here. It could all be connected or it could just be separate, four separate messages. So you will have to just figure out what resonates for you. But I, I feel you're fighting back some kind of an ending. And somebody else just wants out of a situation. They're just like, no just done at least they're contemplating that they but they don't want like physically out they just want out of the mental instability that comes with the six of swords there's a transition that needs to take place in somebody's life and there's a fear of doing it but it's necessary in order to um, have peace here So the two cards that I pulled from the Untamed Truth deck were partnership. This is a, a very significant for you. And I feel like you have a partnership with someone who is very different from you. When I look at this card, because I see the wolf and then I see the, I don't know, is that a crow? Two very different energies, two different uh, beliefs, morals, attacks, whatever they do. There's just two different things, but yet both animals both the same but there's some type of a connection I'm picking up opposites attract in this reading which makes it difficult to go through the motions with each other and everybody else but it's still um, a good connection so the antidote to all this that was playing out here as the true love card. This is the romance of a lifetime. So, you know, whatever these troubles that you may be feeling in connection with someone, like I do feel either someone's going to try to renew a relationship with you, uh, maybe around Valentine's Day or somewhere along those lines, and it will be innocent and sweet and pure. And so you may not feel 
and that it is, but I feel that it is here because of the um, faith card. Um, and, you know, whatever romantic situation you have been in or you currently are in, it really is a true love situation. You feel true love feelings for this person and they feel those true love feelings for you. And it's really important for you to keep maintaining. This is, to me, the Gemini card always. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. This is you in a nutshell. You're, you are, you come from a place of lighthearted energy, always. Now, if you get angry or if you're upset, things like that, um, it doesn't last very long for you. It doesn't. You're over it pretty quick because your lighthearted energy runs the show. that you know whatever struggles you're you're dealing with i don't know why my thing is blurry sorry about that and quality in video whatever the struggles are that you are currently dealing with in your life in general on the whole with someone in particular with several people just try to take it in stride in february as best as you can just kind of like you know because it's really out of your hands you know the partnership is going to continue will continue to exist and there is an energy that i'm picking up that um truth is going to come forward truth is going to come out in all ways because it's infused by love i don't feel there's anything malicious happening here we don't have the devil card <laughs> we don't have um even the magician is good card, but sometimes can be manipulative. So we don't, I don't see anything negative happen. We don't have the five of swords. There's no malicious intent or anything like that. It's just some energy playing out. Where the heck is the moon right now? <laughs> Where is Mars? And Mars is, is Mars and Aries, aggressive energy. Just some stuff has been, um, you know, is playing out in February that you just, I feel like things will work out. Um, I think that's all I have to say, really. I mean, because I'm just repeating myself here. So I'm going to end your reading. I hope that it made sense to some degree. There's different messages here or these are all connected in some way. Um, so you can definitely let me know in the comments if you know this played out for you in any way whatsoever. And um, sorry for the blur. <laughs> I hope that at least the, the quality of the sound was better because I know it hasn't been with the other videos that I had. And again, if you want to get a personal reading, the link is in the description box below. And I can't remember if I prefaced this video with um, we have a snowstorm coming, so I will be probably in the house Saturday, so I will be catching up on all the personal readings that I know you guys have been um, asking me questions and inquiring about, and some of you are waiting. I'm sorry for that. Um, I just have so many to catch up on. So I will see you guys in March. Have a very happy Valentine's Day, and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye.